hey there, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you've just stumbled upon my channel, welcome. I hope that you're having a wonderful day as well. I upload beauty, wellness, and lifestyle videos every Monday and Friday and bring you Sparks of Disney every Wednesday. We have a lot of fun here, so you should just hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join the fam. That way, you won't miss another video. Today's Walt Disney Wednesday video comes to you on Earth Day, which also happens to be Disney's Animal Kingdom's birthday. That's right, Disney's Animal Kingdom opened on Earth Day back in 1998, so happy birthday Animal Kingdom! Let's take a closer look at this park. Much like other Disney parks, Disney's Animal Kingdom is a park of multiple lands centered around some sort of hub. In this case, that hub is the Tree of Life. This 145-foot man-made tree is beautifully carved with various animals that can be found in the animal kingdom. There are trails around the tree so you can go close for viewing and to take photos. The land around the Tree of Life is called Discovery Island. This land has shopping and food and is where you can meet Minnie and Mickey while they are on a safari vacation. Animal Kingdom park guests can also visit the oasis, the area around the park's entrance with tons of birds, Africa, home to exploration trails, the Kilimanjaro Safari, and the Festival of the Lion King, Rafiki's Planet Watch, where you can learn more about animals and get up close and personal to the animals through veterinary care, Asia, where you can find the thrills of Expedition Everest and the Cali River Rapids. Pandora, the world of Avatar, where you can immerse yourself in an imaginary and magical world. And Dino Land USA, where you can relive the journey of everyone's favorite fish and Finding Nemo the Musical and journey back in time on the dinosaur ride. All in all, Disney's Animal Kingdom is the largest of the Walt Disney World theme parks. The park covers more than 500 acres. The Savannah and the Safari Ride itself is larger than the entire Magic Kingdom. In all this space, guests can find 47 rides and attractions and 40 places to get their grub on, even though there are no nighttime fireworks you know, because of the animals. Disney's Animal Kingdom does have a nighttime water and laser show. Rivers of Light, we are one. But Animal Kingdom is not just all fun and games. The park was open in hopes of giving families a new way to appreciate and interact with the animals. When Animal Kingdom opened in 1998, it ran under the slogan of not a zoo. You know, not a zoo. But the park has actually received accreditation from the AZA, the organization that reviews zoos and aquariums, and awards accreditation to the zoos and aquariums that meet the highest standard of animal care and management. According to the AZA, Disney's Animal Kingdom sets the gold standard for animal care. Animal Kingdom has rehabilitation programs for hurt and endangered animals. You can find out, you can find more information on these programs up at Rafiki's Planet Watch. While at the parks, guests can also donate to the Disney Conservation Fund. The Disney Conservation Fund was founded in 1995 with a commitment to saving wildlife and building a global community inspired to protect nature together. This fund has raised and donated $100 million to support nonprofit organizations working to save wildlife and the planet. I've linked the Disney Conservation Fund's website in the description box down below if you want to check it out for more information. Disney's Animal Kingdom is my second favorite Walt Disney World park. Although I do find the rides fun, I absolutely feel that I cannot miss either the Festival of the Lion King or Finding Nemo the Musical when I visit. These attractions have shortened stories of the movies and are delivered in Broadway-worthy productions. They are breathtaking. I also just love walking around the park while I'm there, taking in the scenery and taking pictures. I always jump aboard the Wildlife Express to get to Rafiki's Planet Watch when I'm at the park, because I find that there's always something new and exciting to learn there. That's actually what is so great about Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's a park with fun rides and great food that is wrapped up in low-key educational experiences. What is your favorite thing about Disney's Animal Kingdom? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you are looking forward to seeing future videos about the other three Walt Disney World parks. And make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out so you won't miss them. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. As they say at Disney's Animal Kingdom, Quaharani.